Hello Libra and Libra Rising. My name is Michelle and this is Angel Souls. And this is your Angel Oracle card reading for December 2013. And I am using the Flower Therapy Oracle by Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. So I'm just going to pick four cards and we will see what messages the angels have for you. I hope you're having a good year and you're ready for a fresh start with the new year coming up. Okay, let's see what we got here. First card is raise your vibration. Your intuitive feelings are accurate messages from the angels. Okay, so we've been getting this quite a bit for a lot of other signs. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it here. The idea here is to stop doubting. <laughs> stop doubting. Because what's happening is more and more people are starting to open up and embrace um, this higher self, this higher self wisdom, and the angels are trying to come in and communicate with us, but we're doubting it because for so long we've been told that, you know, if you hear voices in your head, you're crazy. Well, what ended up happening? People shut that down and now we're not getting guidance from the place where they can actually help us, right? So the angels say, stop doubting, trust your instincts, trust your intuition. They are actual messages. So if this was something that was kind of on your mind, that will become clear for you in December, okay? The next card is become the true you, okay? Show the world who you really are and what you were born to do. How funny is that? Trust your intuition. Sorry, guys. Be authentically you, okay? This is a card that says come out of the spiritual closet. It's okay. You know, you, you don't need to um, rely on this old way of thinking and these old definitions, you know, which said that um, if you have any sort of gift like this, then you're a wacko or my favorite term, woo-woo or woo-hoo or whatever, you know, like, like you're nuts <laughs> and you're not, okay? So this is saying don't hide your light. Let it come out because this probably has a lot to do with your life's purpose. Yeah, yeah, shining as a light being. Even if you don't go into any sort of healing practice, that's fine. It's just you, you can heal with your very presence, but you have to tune in and accept who you are so that you can walk forth and be authentic. Okay, next card. Financial healing. This is the yellow lily. Your money struggles are a thing of the past. Be open to all avenues of receiving and you'll be provided for in every way. So, yeah. Okay, so so some of you maybe are contemplating starting a healing practice and finances are definitely on your mind. Uh, and these can be two separate things. This can be actually the message being you need to kind of work on yourself and, and not doubt the things that are coming to you. And that means opportunity as well. You know, there are some things out there that you're like, well, maybe, eh, I, don't, I don't know that. You know, but because you're denying your authentic self, you're not going to see the opportunities when they come along, okay? Now, I'm getting the sense that some of you already realized that. So this was just confirmation of that. And, um, going forward, you do have a bright future financially. But this will all start coming together and you'll start seeing what opportunities are what um, here in December. Okay, so keep me posted on what happens. I'm excited to know. Cleanse your energy. Okay, so this is immediately the message is get rid of the old thinking. And this is happening for a lot of signs. Everybody has to just cleanse, 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 break away from Everything. <laughs> Bring away from everything that you've ever been told, really, because we are coming into a new era. And um, spirituality is no longer going to be seen as a funny duddy kind of thing. It's going to be the norm. Okay? And this card says, when you release negativity, the answer to your question shines through. So I'm feeling like um, some of that old thinking is really clogging up your path. And it's clogging you up. Yeah, you're not getting the guidance that that you're, that the angels are trying to get through to you because you're just stuck and you immediately shut it off and you say, no, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it couldn't possibly be. Or I'm getting the sense that it frightens some of you, the very idea of it. 
and you don't and you feel the energy around you but you don't want to let it in just know that you're safe and and you don't need to worry about it be guided to pull one more card let's see <laughs> time to decide wisteria make a decision now so you can move forward so december is going to be this hugely pivotal point for you where you finally cut the ties from the past and you move forward and you move in a new direction and it's a fresh fresh direction okay so but you have to make that you have to set that intention and you have to make that decision for yourself and um yeah this is all about you cleansing your energy raising your vibration you're being called you're being called this month <laughs> to come into your light and embrace your light okay so i'm gonna lower you down just so you can see how the cards landed i think i've decided i'm not going to do this every month because i don't even think you can see it all that well but here's the raise your vibration card become the true you financial healing cleanse your energy and that extra one i was guided to pull out time to decide okay so if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me you can leave a comment or email me and of course i would like for you to like subscribe and share and if you'd like a personal reading you can go to my website it's angelsouls444.com Take care and I hope you have a beautiful month.